Congratulations on your Hyper Scrambler 2 e-bike purchase. Assembling your new bike is fairly simple and should take less than one hour. Start by checking the outer box to ensure there isn't any shipping damage. Open the bottom of the bike box. Then set the box upright and slide the box off of the bike. Carefully remove the front wheel. Next, open the foam and remove the mirror box and the parts accessory box. The parts accessory box will include three wrenches, one tri Allen wrench, two tri socket wrenches, the front reflector, one screwdriver, the front axle, a right and left pedal, one alarm set, and the battery charger. The mirrors are located in a separate box found under the bike. You will also need a pair of scissors or flat side cutters to complete your bike assembly, a three millimeter Allen wrench to remove the second battery cover if needed, and a bike pump to add air to the tires. Carefully pull the bike out of the foam. Remove the foam packaging and then remove the battery cover from under the bike. Then check the bike for any shipping damage. To install the front wheel, find the axle in the parts accessory box and then remove the nut, washer and spacer from the side with the smallest spacer. Insert the axle on the drive side of the front wheel. Without touching the rotor, place the spacer, washer, and nut on the other side of the axle. Before installing the wheel, cut the zip tie from around the brake pad spacer. Then remove the spacer from the front brake pads. Now remove the fork saver by hand. Insert the wheel into the dropouts, making sure the spacers are inside the dropouts and the washers and nuts are on the outside. The rotor should slide in between the brake pads and the axle should go into the dropouts fully. Start tightening the nuts at the same time for a few turns by hand. Then use both 15 millimeter wrenches to fully tighten the nuts. Once the wheel is fully installed, put the kickstand down. To install the handlebars, locate the tri-tool in the parts accessory box. Use the 4mm Allen side to loosen the stem bolts on the faceplate. Remove the front plate and bolts. Position the handlebars upright so that the brake levers face forward and the LCD screen is on the right side. Be sure to center the handlebars over the fork. Place the faceplate and bolts on the front of the handlebars and begin to lightly tighten by hand. Then use the 4mm side of the tri-tool to completely tighten the bolts evenly. Make sure the gap between the faceplate and stem is evenly spaced. To adjust the headlight, locate the tri-tool and 17mm wrench. Use the 6mm side of the tri-tool to loosen the bolts on each side of the light. Move the headlight so it is facing down. Then secure the light in place by tightening the bolts on each side. To install the turn signals, insert one through the bottom hole of the bracket. Now find the washer and nut attached to the turn signals cable. On the threaded side of the turn signal, 
put the washer on, followed by the nut, and begin to tighten by hand. Fully tighten with a 17 millimeter wrench. On the other side of the bike, repeat the same steps first by hand tightening and then using the wrench to fully tighten. To adjust the headlight position, loosen the clamp bolts with the five millimeter side of the tri-tool. Slide the headlight to the desired position, making sure the sides are even. Then tighten the bolts until they are snug, being sure not to over-tighten. To install the alarm, locate it in the parts accessory box and remove it from its packaging. Place double-sided tape on the back of the alarm. Then attach the alarm to the back of the controller tray under the seat. To install the mirrors, locate both in the mirror box and find the 14 millimeter wrench. First loosen the nut on the left mirror and then place it on the left side of the bike. Thread in the mirror and tighten the nut down by hand. Then use the 14 millimeter wrench to fully tighten and put the cover down over the nut. To install the right mirror, loosen the nut and then place it on the right side of the bike. Thread in the mirror and tighten the nut down by hand. Then use the 14 millimeter wrench to fully tighten and put the cover down. To install the pedals, locate both the right and left pedals in the parts accessory box and find the 15 millimeter wrench. The left pedal will have the letter L on it and the right pedal will have R. Make sure you use the correct pedal on the correct side. They are not interchangeable. Insert the right pedal on the rider's right side of the bike and turn it clockwise until it is snug. On the rider's left side of the bike, insert the left pedal and tighten it counterclockwise. At this point, the pedals are not fully installed. Use the 15 millimeter wrench to fully tighten each pedal. It's critical that the pedal be tightened firmly in the crank arm to prevent the pedals from loosening while riding, which will result in significant damage to the bike. If the battery cover needs to be removed to add a second battery to the bike, locate the three millimeter Allen wrench. Loosen the two bolts and washers from the side of the battery cover and remove the cover from the bike. To install the second battery, find the keys on the bike and remove them. Line up the bottom of the battery with the lower battery dock. Insert the key into the lock and turn it while pushing the top of the battery into place. Be sure to check the tire pressure and add air to the tires if needed. Before riding, double check that all parts and bolts are secure on the bike. Also check that the batteries are fully locked into the frame. To turn on the bike, press the power button on the battery. If the bike is equipped with two batteries, press the power button on both batteries. Then put the key in the ignition and turn it to the right. You're all set to ride faster and farther on your new Hyper Scrambler 2 e-bike from Juiced.